Hello and welcome to Code Tutorials. In this video, we are going to cover the installation and registration of the Key Templates plugin. Alongside that, we'll take a look at how to import various bits of its content demos, templates, patterns, and wireframes. So, by the end of this video, all you'll need to do is decide which design solutions you like best and pick and choose from them to get your site set up. In case you just stumbled on this video, Key Templates is a specialty plugin developed by our award winning designers here at Code Interactive. At its core, it's a collection of pre designed building blocks for your site. All those blocks come in different sizes, if I can put it that way. The Key Templates plugin is, as you can see here at the top, composed of demos, templates, patterns, wireframes, and, as its smallest unit, blocks. And we can open any of these to examine the variety of content design solutions that are available to us. You can scroll through all the available demos, as that's the page I opened, or you can use the categories on the left hand side to show the demos only for a specific business niche or topic. But you also have the option of filtering the display by color in case you have an established brand with colors you want to match or simply have a preferred color scheme that you want to use. And if you realize demos are too elaborate for what you need, because these demos are like the demo content of a theme, all the pages you need for a site, carefully designed and bundled together, then you can navigate to the other categories available with the Key Templates plugin. For example, templates, which are a smaller unit than demos. They are one fully built, completely stylized page. So you can use a portfolio template, customize it with your own information and projects, and in moments have a ready to launch portfolio showcase for your site. Then we have the patterns as an even smaller unit than templates. Think of these as individual page sections that are fully designed and functional, just waiting to be added to a page. Finally, we have the wireframes. These are pre-made page sections focused on the layout with only bare bones of content. They are intended to give you, as the name suggests, a frame to work within. Unlike the patterns, they don't oblige you to use a particular color scheme and they're pretty blank in terms of business niches or topics they cover. So you have a base to build on with a lot of style and design decisions that you can make on your own. And finally, not shown here, are the key blocks. They are the smallest component of the key templates and they are the basis used to build all the rest of these design solutions that we've seen. And, best of all, since everything is made with Gutenberg compatible blocks, it means this plugin will work with any WordPress theme. So, that's a bit about the plugin itself. On the logistical side of things, this is a premium plugin that works on an annual subscription basis. And you can find more information on pricing plans as well as additional details on what's included with the plugin by opening the pricing plans page. You have the toggle switch here for setting whether you need the plugin for a single or for multiple websites. And then, depending on whether you want to get just the blocks and build things yourself from scratch, or get the whole key templates bundle, you can choose between these pricing plans. You can see the listed items of everything that's included with either option. And the same goes if you decide you need this for unlimited websites. You'll see everything you get for each plan. Alright, with all that said, we are ready to dive in. Hopefully you already have a WordPress installation set up. If you don't, this is a good moment to pause and take care of that. Now, as I mentioned, key templates are based on key blocks, which are designed to work with Gutenberg. That means, since Gutenberg is the native page builder for WordPress, you can use any WordPress theme you like. For this video, I'll be using the theme I'm sure we all have, or can easily get, 2022. So, if we use the menu to access the Appearance Themes section of the dashboard, you'll see that my active theme is WordPress's 2022. Once you have a theme set, you can get started with the plugin. And for that, we need the plugin section. Then in here, we'll click on the Add New button. And in the next window, we'll search for the Key Blocks plugin. FYI, this is the free version of the blocks. But since Key Blocks are the foundation for the templates and demos and everything we want to use, we need to install them first. If you already have the Key Blocks plugin installed, just ignore this step. Once the plugin appears, click on Install. Wait for it to finish and then click to activate it. You'll know it's done when you see the configuration page. 
And if you want to just try out the free version of Keyblocks, you can go through the steps for the configuration here and start using them. But since we're here to talk about the Key Templates plugin, I'll carry on. And that involves going to the plugin section once again. I'll immediately go to Add New to cut out the step. And here I'm going to click on Upload Plugin. Then choose File. Let me find the folder where I have the plugin files. Here it is. I made this folder to keep my electronic receivables. However you like to organize yourself, these are the files you'll get when you purchase key templates. We have the premium key blocks, so a more extensive collection of page building elements, and the key templates. Both files are in zip format. Do not unpack them, just select the premium blocks for import. OK, then install now. And when that's done, activate the plugin. Alright, one file down, one more to go. We have the same steps again. Add new, then upload plugin, and choose file, the second one now, open, and install now. And when it's done installing, activate the plugin. So I have my three necessary plugins installed and active. Keyblocks, Keyblocks Premium, and Key Templates. We can see them in the list. Since two of those three are premium plugins, the next thing I need to do is register them. I'll start with key blocks. Since I just installed the plugin, I have to go through a few steps for the configuration. In the first step, I want to keep all selected as that will give me every single block in the bundle. I don't want the partial installed. Next, in step two, you can see a list of all the blocks that will be installed and toggle some off if you don't want them. But we recommend that you don't do that, as depending on which demo, pattern, or whatever you pick, it might require a block you disable to work. Next. The last step is asking you if you're willing to participate in the collection of diagnostic data. None of the information collected is personal or sensitive, it just helps developers keep everything compatible and performing at its best. Since I think that ultimately serves me, I'm going to click Allow. But you don't have to, the plugin will work even if you opt out of this. Alright, configuration done. And here we are on the blocks welcome page. It has a link to the plugin documentation, access to our knowledge base, and a shortcut to our help center, in case you have any questions that haven't been covered by the available resources or by one of the tutorials on our YouTube channel. But what we actually need now is the registration page. And here we have this input field where we are supposed to add the purchase code. That's the code you got in the post-purchase email. I copy the codes for both the blocks and templates in a notepad file so I'd have it at hand. Now I'll just copy the code for the key blocks premium. In just a sec. Paste and register. You'll know the process is completed successfully when the register button is replaced with a deregister one. And now we can do the same for key templates. So again, I need the registration page and then I can enter the appropriate purchase code for the templates plugin. I'll copy the code from my prepared notepad file and then paste and register. There we go, that's done as well. Now that my premium products have been registered, I'm going to get this import option in the menu. Let's open it up. Here we have a view of all the demos included in the key templates tutorial. So those are the bundles of several pages that you can import at once. This is the quickest and easiest way to get your site ready. However, you don't have to import a demo. You can opt for a combination of patterns and templates and make a site that's entirely tailored. But that's up to you. Either way, I'm going to show you how to import each of the, let's call them design units, that you get with the key templates plugin. Starting with the demos. Find the demo you want to use and next to its title, you'll see this import button. Click on it to start the process. In this next window, we are going to see details about our chosen demo. That includes which plugins it needs to work and display properly. You have the list here on the right. Mine is pretty short and we can see one of the plugins is already taken care of from the light gray tag saying activated next to it. However, this demo also needs the Contact Form 7 plugin for all its features to work. So I'll click to install it. And the great thing about this step is that any other plugins that you need for your demo can be taken care of on this very page. Once the installation is done, click to activate it. With all my required plugins installed and activated, I can move down to the Import Attachments option. 
it's enabled by default, and you'll want to keep it that way, as it's responsible for including things such as images in the import. With that checked, I can proceed to the Import Demo button underneath. OK, I do want to import demo data. Now you just need to wait for the import to complete. You'll know it's done when you see import is completed at the bottom. So, let's open our site's front end to check that the demo content is displaying properly. Here we are. The various sections are there, and everything looks good. And that's the demo import done, quick and easy. Now, other than the demo, we have all those other smaller design units that we can use and combine. So, let's see how that goes. For this, we need to open the Pages section. You can see I have quite a few pages here. That's because I got them with the demo import. But I'm going to ignore them, they're not important right now. I plan on creating a new page where I can import the template. So, add new. And this new blank page will have a big red import button at the top. Click on it to open the library of patterns, templates, and wireframes. This is what the library looks like. It has the business niche categories on the left, which you can use to filter the selection. On the far right, we have a search function if you want to look for a keyword that's not listed on the left. Above the search function, we have the X icon to close the library and the reload icon that serves to reload any changes that may have happened to the key templates plugin in the meantime. So you can essentially update the plugin by clicking on the reload icon. That was some broad information about the library. But we're here for import, so let's get on with that. I'm going to open a random category from the selection on the left. This will do. Please note we're looking at patterns right now. You can see they're selected at the top. And patterns are like individual page sections. So if I find a pattern I like and click on it, it will be imported to my page. Then we can click on a given part of that pattern's content to customize it. On the right, you'll see the options for the block you've clicked on, and then you can go through those options to adjust anything you need. Also, if you need any clarification on the options, we have video tutorials on various key blocks that might help you. And that's the pattern import. For template import, click on the same red button again. Then open the template section of the library. From there, find the template you like, and simply click on it to import. And here we are. I have the whole page laid out and set up. I just need to customize its content. And to do that, click on any part of the content that you want to change, and using the options on the right, start replacing it. And it's the same for every element and section within the page template. By the way, when you import a template, if you had any patterns or wireframes on that page beforehand, the template is going to overwrite them, as it did to me. But if you want to add something on to a template page, you can do that after importing it. I'll show you how that works using a wireframe. Let's open the library again. Select the wireframe section, and then find the wireframe you like. I'll use this one for example. Now, if we look at the page, my template with its sections and content is still there. But if we scroll down to the very bottom of it, we'll see the wireframe I selected there. And it would be customized the same way as any of the other elements on the page. As you see, this way you can add any wireframe or pattern you like to a template page. Of course, you can rearrange the order of the sections later on and all that. But the point is, with the Key Templates plugin, you can mix and match all these design solutions to your heart's content. Now, one last thing about the library. Let me open it again. The last section of it is for the demos. However, they are not displayed here. But if you realized you haven't imported a demo and would like to do so now, you have this shortcut here to help you do it. Just click on the Import Demo button. And I haven't saved anything on my page, but it was just for show and tell. I don't need it. And then we'll be taken to the import page with all the demos, the same one we saw earlier. Here you can browse through the available demos to see which one suits your needs best and import it. There is a large selection, so you're bound to find something you like. And that's it. We've seen how import works for all the different elements of the Key Templates plugin. We've seen how to install and register both it and the Key Blocks plugin. 
And at the very start, we covered the logistical side with the payments plans, and going further back, we looked at the different side solutions that the Key Templates plugin seeks to provide. You have everything from the smallest building block to increasingly more elaborate and complex structures such as wireframes, patterns, templates, and ultimately demos. All of these are elements you can combine, mix, match, add, remove. With key templates, you get an incredible range of things you can do. And you have a great starting point because the various elements boast different design solutions and comprehensive coverage of various business niches. So you can find something that works for you and modify it only slightly, or opt to build with smaller components that will result in a completely unique custom website. It's all down to your preference. Ultimately, we hope you found this tutorial on the setup of the Key Templates plugin useful and that it's managed to answer your questions. However, if there is anything you find unclear or have comments or suggestions you'd like to make, please drop us a line in the comment section below. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and be the first to learn about any new tutorials and theme guides. Thank you for watching!